Welcome, my goodness, here we are. What an amazing day and what an amazing time and a, an absolutely fantastic turnout. And before I thank anybody else, to our staff uh, that have made all of this tonight happen, thank you all very much because what a great, great turnout. So this evening, uh, we have Commissioner Jenkins with us to my far left. We have Commissioner Hetherington uh, in between us. Um, we have Don Donaldson, our county administrator, with us. He's here somewhere. There he is down here at the end. And George Stokas, I think, is somewhere in the audience. George? George, way up in the background. Hi, George. And our former county administrator, who really was probably over most of this that we're doing tonight, Taryn Krista, uh, in the background here who decided to retire on us. I'm not so sure why, but she did. And uh, we are certainly glad that she's uh, enjoying her retirement. So uh, let me take you back just a little bit. And they said I had 45 minutes to be able to do this, so you have to bear with me. Um, no, I know. I get five minutes. Um, for those of you who, who remember the history and the background of the golf course, it's been here for a very, very long time. And we have gone through multiple iterations through the years. Uh, years and years ago, the golf course uh, community came to us and said that we needed to redo the irrigation because it was really falling apart. And we did that, and that was kind of a little scratch at the surface of kind of maybe upping the quality of the, thank you very much, of the, of the course itself. Um, but it was abundantly clear uh, that much more really had to be done. And, and to turn it into what you see today uh, really was an amazing effort that took a whole bunch of people and a whole bunch of uh, involvement from a lot of folks and I want to give credit to you all the community uh, for making this what it is because a lot of things could have gone right and a lot of things could have gone wrong with what we did but what we heard loud and clear from everybody uh, was that we needed to keep the historic nature of the course we needed to keep it affordable we needed to keep it playable and that took a huge effort from all of you to engage with us, to give us the direction and give our staff the direction and the experts the direction about how this would become what it has become. And so through years, literally, of public involvement um, and charrettes and workshops, uh, through our golf course advisory committee, through a ton of experts, um, we landed where we are today. And the, and the cool thing about where we've landed today is there are some really amazing pieces of technology, as you can see in, in the back, that are, have been embedded into this project. Uh, but there's also the, the, the care and the, the want to make sure that that course represents what Martin County really is all about. And I think you all, with the experts, did an amazing job giving us that guidance to end up with truly probably one of the top leading municipal golf courses in the state of Florida, if not in the country. So thank you all very, very much for all of your involvement. And again, to our staff, uh, you know, projects like this come together. We get the involvement, we get the participation from everybody, but then at the end of the day, somebody has to make it all happen from the contractors to the engineers, the designers, the planners, and our staff. And I can't say enough about the amazing staff that we have. Uh, Kevin Abate took on the challenge of, of doing this, um, and all of his staff, all of the rest of our staff in the county that have had a piece or had their hands in this thing have really turned it into something very, very special. And we hope that you love what you see and what you get to be part of. And we hope that for the next 50 to 80 years that we took on and fixed and rebuilt what existed uh, becomes your legacy as a community that you did something really incredibly special for Martin County and a sailfish sand. So with that, what I would love to do uh, is turn it over to Commissioner Hetherington. This is her district. Thank you, Commissioner Smith. It's so exciting to be here tonight on a beautiful uh, fall, Florida day, especially for our opening and improving some of our existing county amenities has always been this board's goal in martin county as a fourth generation native i've always said what makes martin county so special is the people in martin county and the opportunities for people to connect and this is exactly what sailfish sands this golf fort provides the opportunity for people to connect so tonight, as Commissioner Smith shared some of the history of this golf course, 
getting to where we are today. And it's also about our board, our community that's sitting here today, all of our staff. We came together and we work to build something that we can all share experiences. It's going to be a place that we all have fun, a place that we can connect, and this is exactly that place to make those connections and have this community about the people and the places we love. Over the past several months, I've had an opportunity with my two sons to play the reversible nine. Now, over the years, I've been an on and off golfer, but we have tremendously enjoyed replaying this reversible nine golf course, and I think you all will as well. Uh, it's something that this place has so much to offer for all of us. It's gonna provide ways that, again, we can all create memories together. I can't wait to bring my sons back to uh, enjoy the restaurant and the hitting bays. We have phenomenal um, professionals running the restaurant, and we were there for the soft opening, and it was just amazing, and congratulations. So again, I'm so proud to be a part of this great um, project that we've done in Martin County. And again, it's going to allow opportunities for so many of our community members to make memories. So thanks again for allowing all of us to be a part of this. And I hope that you will enjoy this as much as um, it's part of our community. And we want you to have lasting memories and enjoy tonight, but most especially, Bring back your family and friends and enjoy this facility for many, many years to come. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Commissioner Hetherington. Well said. Stacy said this, and, and, and it bears repeating again and again. Uh, this is a generational change, and, and it's a generational project that for the young people that are in the audience and the, the little ones down here towards the end, um, we hope that it bridges from that age group to the other end of the age group, and that it's something for everybody to participate in and, and create memories and really make something um, that's special in, in your world. So with that, uh, I'd love to come up, call up our county administrator, Don Donaldson, um, and he will share some thoughts with you uh, and enlighten us. Thank you. Thank you, commissioners, and thank everybody for being here. Um, Thank you, Commissioner Hetherington. Uh, with an, it has been an incredible journey uh, for, for this golf course, starting back in the 1920s uh, when Hugh Willoughby and the golf course architect William Langford designed and built an original nine-hole golf course. Um, seems hard to imagine, and I, you know, this is one of our historic features, really, of, of the county. And tonight we're proud to showcase Sailfish Stands. Uh, and the Sailfish Stands was named by uh, one of our high school students through a uh, process, uh, uh, Caleb Gagnon. I want to thank him. You know, during the, the COVID times, uh, a lot of these things happen, and recognition is deserved uh, for him. So we can thank Caleb for helping us name this beautiful course. And I think this course represents uh, really a transition in what we're doing for the county, and that is. Uh, providing not just a sports or recreational features, but um, facilities that provide experiences, experiences for all of your family, not only the sports enthusiasts, but uh, uh, even those aren't sports enthusiasts can enjoy uh, both the restaurant, uh, the hitting bays, uh, and the golf course. So I think that's uh, an exciting evolution, I think, for the type of facilities that we're building. And I look forward to us working with the board, creating more. For those of you that don't know me, I'm George Zama, the Martin County Public Works Deputy Director. I served as the executive manager and later filling in as the lead project manager of the extensive planning, design, construction for all the projects that you see behind me, including the new state-of-the-art reversible nine-hole course, parking lot, pro shop, and our wonderful clubhouse building. I feel I have the greatest privilege in this opening ceremony because I get to recognize the team's contribution to making this dream a reality. For those of you that are not familiar with public works, we build a lot of things, from roads, bridges, stormwater systems, beaches, and even parks 
like this remarkable facility. We are Public Works at work. We in the Public Works Department take bright, great pride in working as a team with other county departments and stakeholders, utilizing strengths to achieve goals, which is why when Parks asked for our assistance in this project, we jumped at the opportunity. This project embodies teamwork for a successful outcome. Teamwork amongst county officials, county departments, citizens, consultants and contractors. It's my honor as part of this ceremony to identify the major stakeholders that were part of this team. With that, I would first and foremost like to thank the Martin County Board of County Commissioners, Doug Smith, Stacy Hetherington, Harold Jenkins, Sarah Hurd, and Ed Campy. The citizens in this beautiful crowd should be proud of our board for identifying the need to restore this golf facility, giving tremendous support of staff, and providing the necessary resources to implement this project. In our administration department, we have County Administrator Don Donaldson, and as mentioned, Assistant County Administrator George Stokas, and County Attorney Sarah Woods. We That's okay, you can clap, yeah. We thank you for your leadership and management of strategic interdepartmental coordination. We also want to thank our budget financial manager, Stephanie Murley, who's, who I work extensively with in effectively managing budgets for these projects. Uh, in our public works department, the public works department managed the design and oversight of, uh, or the oversight of design and construction for all the facilities that I mentioned. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank our Public Works Director, Jim Gordon. And raise your hand so people can put a face to the name. There he is. Our Capital Projects Administrator, Chris Getzfried. There he is. Senior Project Engineer, Keith Baker. Senior Project Manager, Renee Fresnada. Construction Project Inspector, Justin Deckard. Project Manager, Bill Snyder. And senior Project Manager, Ron Rudner. In our General Services Department, our General Services Deputy Director, Kevin Landry. And our Security Administrator, Mike Drost. In the ITS Department, we have the Telecommunications Manager, Russ Norval. And last, but certainly not least, within our county departments, uh, Parks Department, Parks and Recreation Director, Kevin Abate. Finally, our golf course manager, Mike Saunders. Um, we had an, an amazing team to make all this happen. There's a lot of unsung heroes that use their hands to build this facility. So let's give them all a big round of applause right now for everybody involved. And so as I stand before you in this magnificent facility, I'm truly grateful. This team didn't just build another golf course. We took a piece of Martin County history and created a place for families, friends, to gather and foster a new love for an old game. Tonight is not only about the history and the journey, but about our entire team coming together to build a place for shared experiences and lasting memories. A place to have fun, a place to connect. Thank you. And now I'd like to introduce Mr. Kevin Abate. Good evening, everybody and welcome to Sailfish Sands Golf Course. This is a special day for me. So I've been the director here for 12 years. I've been working on the golf course project starting in 2014 for almost eight years. Um, it's been a long journey. Um, there's been some headaches, but I will tell you, um, it's been quite the project. 
The journey started in 2014 when the old former Martin County Golf and Country Club dissolved and we hired the National Golf Foundation, Richard Singer, to, to conduct a presentation in 2015 to our Board of County Commissioners. We held more than 50 public meetings in that process. Pretty startling. Public charrettes, we created a golf course advisory committee, commission meetings, but the overarching um, goal was that we knew that a capital investment into this amazing asset was needed. So we developed long-range plans, business plans and real estate appraisals were created, professional consultants were engaged, the PGA and golf professionals helped drive the decision, and the Board of County Commissioners voted to never sell the 304-acre property, and that was important. Yeah, the project was painstaking at times. The process wasn't perfect. It was an eight-year journey. But it did allow for community creativity. It allowed for a shift in the golf entertainment to evolve. And more importantly, the Board of County Commissioners never said no to the project. So in 2018, I'm in Orlando with my son. It was a father-son weekend. And I'm going to show you on the screen what the inspiration was. That was the, that's all I needed. Everybody needs inspiration. And quite frankly, at that moment, when I looked around Top Golf Orlando, I realized that if we just built the clubhouse, we might still be carrying a subsidy. But I understood where the game, the game had been flat at best in the golf world, and that's if you were investing. So when I saw him hit that shot as a young eight-year-old hockey player who absolutely hated the sport of golf, and he still doesn't play, um, it, I had an idea that why don't we just throw some hitting bays on the back and create something for everybody, something for non-golfers. Because quite frankly, the Top Golf, the Drive Shacks, the Vero, the Vero Beach Big Shots, those are creating golf experiences. It's a social experiment of bringing the community together. And that's precisely what we've done. So what did, we, what did we build and what did we do? We built Florida's first and only reversible nine-hole golf course, the nation's first public boutique hitting bays on a natural grass driving range, a 13-acre range that opened last year that generated, since last late October, over a quarter of a million dollars in bucket of all rentals and we're approaching over one million golf balls hit in just this year. It's unreal. We've created a restaurant and bar with an, an excellent menu, which we'll get into later. We removed exotic removals and put new cart paths on the front nine. And next year, we'll remove exotics and put in new cart packs on the, ba on the back nine. We reduced a growing subsidy that started in 2019 of over $670,000 through the, the demand of golf declining that grew to over $1.3 million. I know we were in construction, but it was going the wrong way. And once we made the investment and opened last year, this year, our end of our budget, we reduced the subsidy by over $800,000 in the one year without the building even being open. That is a great accomplishment on your tax dollars. We've created a public-private partnership via a structured lease that provides for long-term sustainability and the sustainability of this golf course for many, many years. And this project will generate millions of dollars of economic impact. We plan on bringing collegiate teams from all over the United States as a training center. La Matina Management has already hired over 125 employees, events, outings, and much more. But if you really want to see an exciting time on the air show, make sure you reach out to these guys because the second story of the building will be called the flight deck. And you want to get your tickets because they'll be sold out for an all-you-can-eat-and-drink experience 
I know I'm going to get my ticket saved in there sometime. <laughs> so, Mr. John Sanford, just let me know this morning or this afternoon. It's a long day. Um, let me know that we have received a special award. I'm going to let him tell you what it is. Mr. Sanford from Sanford Design, our great golf course architect for this project, is going to briefly tell you about this award that we received. Mr. Sanford, come on up. Thank you, Kevin. Um, first, I want to say that uh, we were, it was our pleasure to work on this project, designing the reversible nine and the, and the, the, the practice range you see here. But I have to tell everyone that this was Kevin's vision, and we just helped implement it. So what I have here tonight is a very special award. This is the Environmental Excellence Award given to Martin County by the American Society of Golf Course Architects, for which I am a member. And if you don't mind, I'll, uh, I'll just read the inscription. The former 18-hole course was transformed into a nine-hole reversible course, reducing the maintained area by 40 acres. Course drainage was improved and nuisance vegetation removed. An additional 20 acres was converted to unirrigated native areas to further reduce maintenance inputs. So congratulations to Kevin and Martin County. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna do our ribbon cutting now.